We just had a shakeup in the top 10, and after three days in Kansas City, we could see another one. It's part two of the PBR's swing through the Show Me State, and another 1,100 points are on the line at the Built Ford Tough Invitational in Kansas City. Ruling the roost right now is Brazilian Valderon de Oliveira, who's covered eight of his past 12 bulls. He's riding high after taking the Iron Cowboy title two weeks ago in Texas, but it was his solid fifth place finish in St. Louis last week that helped him bump J.B. Mooney out of the way for the overall lead on the Built Four Tough series. Mooney had a rare shutout in St. Louis, bucking off all three bulls and not making the championship round at all. Two weeks ago in Arlington, he also came away without a qualified ride. Don't expect that kind of streak to continue. Mooney's only 200 points off the lead. That's just over one good ride and a round win. A look at Mooney's record so far is impressive. One event win, 18 of 31 bulls ridden, a 58.1% riding average over 10 events. But one other rider has those same exact stats. Oklahoma's Austin Meyer has quietly been having a career year and has worked his way into fourth in the world. He's struggled a little since winning in Winston-Salem, going three for his past eight, but he's still as healthy as can be. Look for Meyer to make a play for the top three this weekend. Questionable for the Built Four Tough Invitational is Travis Briscoe, who suffered a separated rib and torn cartilage in St. Louis in round two. He's ranked third in the world right now, but has bucked off six bulls in a row. He's got a comfortable 600-point lead over his closest pursuers, but another bad weekend could see him drop to either fourth or even fifth place in the overall standings. A few riders hovering around the cut line will need to have a good weekend in Kansas City to stay in the Built Four Tough series. The sentimental favorite, whose mighty Mike White, is using the last of his injury exemptions. White announced early in the season that this would be his last year, and he's a full 669 points out of the top 30 right now. The former Rookie of the Year will likely need a top four finish to stave off the cut. And we're just days away from the announcement of the initial rosters for the World Cup teams. Team captains were announced last week, and speculation is swirling around potential team members. For the Brazilians, for example, it seems that Oliveira and world number no. five Renato Nunes are locks. But old standby Guilherme Marchi continues to struggle with a sprained wrist and has bucked off five of his past six. For the Americans, a set of newer names has begun to surface. With Mooney and Briscoe struggling, the top contenders for Team USA start with Austin Meyer, who debuted on the World Cup last year, followed by Josh Koschel, McKinnon Wimberly, and Shane Proctor. It's the first time the World Cup has ever been held on U.S. soil, so whoever gets chosen, be sure to get your tickets now. The event is slated for April 16th through the 18th, and will coincide with the 45th Academy of Country Music Awards in Las Vegas. So there's sure to be plenty going on. Our host hotel this year is Treasure Island, and there will be all kinds of special events and activities over three days. In the meantime, buckle up for the Built Four Tough Invitational in Kansas City this weekend. Round two will be televised Saturday at 8 Eastern, and round three in the Built Four Tough Championship round will air Sunday at 8, all on Versus. And of course, we'll be back next week with all the highlights. Thanks for watching. For the PBR, I'm Crystal Matthews.